seven four H C one six five seven four H C one six five Oh yeah oh jazz Hi guys good evening thank you very much for watching yesterday I made a really great video on the 74HC165 parallel in serial out shift register. But then I rewatched my video and realized that I had the data input pins backwards. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Thank you, thank you. So I'm just going to explain it as simply as I can. So to use this shift register, you're going to make use of three pins. This is the shift load, pin one, and it's normally held high. And to load the chip with the inputs on the data pins, uh, you send it a low. The other pin, the second pin that you need to make use of when you're using this chip is pin two, which is the clock pin. So first you have your data hooked up to all the data pins. Then you hit the shift load, and then you clock in each subsequent bit one at a time. Now, when you hit the shift load and send that a low, it'll take the most significant bit, and it'll automatically send it out this serial out pin, which is called QH on this pinout diagram. And I guess I have already now explained the last pin that you really want to make use of, which is pin 9, which is actually the serial out pin, which is the pin that's going to send out each bit from the byte, and it'll send each bit out one at a time as you clock them out. So step one is to send a low signal on the shift load. This will capture all of the logic highs and lows you're inputting on your data pins A to H, and then having hit shift load, sending it a low, it'll actually automatically send out the most significant bit of your data on the serial output line. So now all you have to do is continue clocking out the rest of the seven bits. Yeah, it'll clock out each bit at a time. So you have to clock this seven more times. I'll show that on my breadboard setup. But first I'll show this schematic diagram that I drew. So here's pin 1, which is the shift load pin, and it's hooked up to, that's a high, a pull-up resistor, and so when you push this push button, it'll send it a low signal. So this pin is triggered by a low signal. Likewise, the clock pin is also triggered by a low signal as well and it's held high with a 10k pull-up resistor to 5 volts. So the first step is to clock all of your data in by pushing this button, which is the shift load, which almost like a picture will take all of your data and put it into the shift register, and then it'll clock through each bit as you continue to clock this out seven more times. And uh, depending on the lows and high levels, the serial out output will also put out a corresponding high or low bit. Okay, so I made a little project here where I mounted the shift register on some popsicle sticks and on a PCB. I also have some debounced switches which can uh, manipulate the shift load pin, the clock pin, and the serial out pin. So just take my word for it that it's set up properly. This will be the shift load pin, first button. This will be the clock pin. And the serial output of the shift register is lighting up this LED. I have a counter here, which I can just put some random numbers on. It's all hooked up to the data input pins on the shift register, and it's done correctly. Now when I hit the shift load button, it's accepted the highs and lows on all the pins, and when you hit the shift load button, it takes the very first bit, 
and outputs it on the serial output line, which is why this is a logic low. I don't know if you can see it very well, but this most significant bit is currently a logic low. So then I'll hit the clock pin, and it's also low because the next bit is low. When I hit the clock pin again, the next bit of data is a high, so it will go high. See, it went high. And the bit after that is also high, so it remains high. But then, bit, bit three, I guess, is low, so it will go low when I clock that in. Low. Another low, another high, and another high. Let's try a different number. That looks good. Shift load. It's already taken the most significant bit and output it on the serial output line. Now I will clock out each subsequent bit. The next one will go low. The serial output went low. Now it will go high, 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 low, low, and another high. Seven, four, H, C, one, six, five. Seven, four, H, C, one, six, five. Oh yeah, oh jazz, Buddha boo ba jumba. Oh yeah, oh jazz, Buddha boo ba jumba. Seven, four, H, C, one, six, five. Seven, four, H, C, one, six, five. Oh yeah, oh jazz, Buddha boo ba jumba. Oh yeah, oh jazz, Buddha boo ba jumba. Oh jazz, Buddha boo ba jumba.